Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out this BV Tech 10 port PoE Plus Industrial DIN Rail Switch. Eight ports are PoE Plus, right here, these. Uh, one port gigabit Ethernet, these are not PoE. Uh, one SFP port gigabit as well. Uh, you can use the switch to power your uh, IP phones, IP cameras. Um, you can connect your PCs, but uh, probably not a good idea. These are only 10 slash 100, so you wouldn't get the best speed if you're connecting to a server. But if you have a small network and you're only doing internet and it's your internet speed is less than 100 megabit, then it's fine as well. So what's a DIN rail anyway? Uh, to uh, Google this, and uh, it looks like it's just a metal bar that you could attach industrial type equipment to. I don't normally see it with the uh, network switches that I deal with, but it seems like a, a fairly common standard for other devices as well, not just switches. So I ordered this switch from Amazon and uh, I got my standard Amazon Prime box and uh, I was expecting to unpack this and find another box inside with the switch in it. What I did find was the switch, but it was in a bag. No box of any kind, no padding, just a plastic bag. Very disappointing. I had previously ordered their 18 port switch and so far I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, so I, I decided to order a smaller switch because that's what I needed. But I'm not feeling so happy now because this doesn't look so professional that you ship things in bags. But let's just move on from this and uh, see if we can uh, kind of forget this whole bag incident. Included here is your standard user's manual, which includes the common features, typical usage, installation instructions, and technical specifications. You get your standard power cable, uh, a fairly good size AC adapter, and uh, no other accessories at all. No rubber feet, no mounting screws, which are fairly common with small desktop switches. Let's uh, take a closer look at this. I'm going to be showing it from all angles and uh, we're going to be plugging in a few devices just to show that it actually powers on and uh, they're not going to be part of a working network, but we're just going to see that this switch does provide enough power for them to successfully turn on. And our first device is a Nortel IP phone. This is not current, but uh, there's rebranded uh, Avaya phones that look very similar. Next item we check is the Cisco access point. If you're installing Cisco access points, please use the recommended PoE injectors from Cisco just to be fully supported. This is just for demonstration purposes only. And finally, we have the uh, Linksys VoIP phone. These are end of life. They're no longer being sold or supported, but I still have clients that are still using them and they fully work as well. So if you watched any of my previous videos, you know what comes next. We open these things up and look what's inside. I personally don't know much about board layout or components being used here, but maybe someone out there does. They can comment about it. One thing that almost got me with this uh, specific model is that there's two hidden screws in the front. So if you're taking one of these apart, you have to remove the uh, front label just in the corners to reveal the screw. And uh, well, there's one in each side. Otherwise, it's just four screws at the top and two screws in the front. I've been using this switch for the last couple of days on my internal network. And so far, I haven't run into any problems. But the, the real test is how long it will last on the client side. Uh, the last, the uh, BV Tech switch I installed has been running for five months. So far, no problems. I'm hoping for the same or better with this switch as well. And that's where I'll end this video. Again, thank you for watching. Subscribe, uh, comment, all that. Thank you.